Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Info Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to recreate this title from our film festival pack. So let's check it out. All right, so first of all, you're gonna need to download Leaf Crown or Anonment, however you wanna call it. Just pick whatever you like from this website. Everything is uh, copyright free. For all pack, we've used a different one, but you can have access to all those different ones for free uh, directly on this website that I will link in the description. They are copyright free, so you can use them for any project. Right now, I'm just gonna download this one, for example. And now we're all set, let's switch back to DaVinci Resolve. All right, so now that we're in Resolve, we're gonna need to bring a new Fusion Composition. So we're gonna go down to Effect, and here we're gonna bring Fusion Composition in our timeline. Now it's done, we're gonna go over to Fusion. All right, so now we're in Fusion, let's work on our title. So first off, I'm gonna bring a background to set up our frame. I'm gonna bring the alpha channel down to zero. Then we're gonna bring our SVG file. So we're gonna go over to Fusion right here, go down to Import, and here Import SVG. Then we can just uh, reach for our SVG file and import it. By default, you're gonna have some random width and height. We're gonna adjust that later with the transform node. Let's click OK and bring that in. Now we're gonna link the output of the SVG to the background with a merge. Let's click that. Now we have our SVG in our viewer, but as you can see, uh, it's too big for the frame. So we're just gonna bring a transform node between the group and the merge. So I'm gonna select the group one, then hit shift space on my keyboard and search for transform. And we're gonna bring that transform node in between. And now we can reduce the size of that SVG and have it uh, fit the screen properly. Now I want to switch that to white. So I'm just gonna double click on group one and here background two, I'm gonna switch the color to white. Here we go. All right, so now we have our ornament. We're gonna add our text. So here I'm gonna add the first text. I'm gonna link it here to the merge two. And I'm already gonna bring another text because I know I'm gonna need at least two. So we're gonna link that as well. And now we can link the output of the merge to the media out. Now let's add our text. So here I'm gonna add a first text that could be, for example, here, London Film Festival. Perfect. Which is gonna make a space here to bring a second line. Change the font here for Montserrat and we're gonna switch it to bold right here, perfect. Then we're gonna bring the size down, then bring the text up a little bit. Now on all text two, we're gonna add something like best film, and I'm gonna switch here to Montserrat as well. But this time we're not gonna do bold, we're gonna do medium, for example, and we're gonna reduce the size as well. And now let's bring that down a little bit. And now we could even bring a third text here for like adding 2000, uh, 2022, for example. I'm linking the text tree to the output of the merge four. It's gonna create the merge five. And here, text, I'm gonna add 2000, 2022. We're gonna switch from Montserrat again. Reduce the size a little bit. Bring that down. We're gonna switch the font here for ultra thin. Maybe reduce the size a little bit of best film. Reduce the size a little bit for the date as well. Adjust a bit the position and here we go. We got the layout of the design. Obviously, you know, make any layout that fit what you need to do. Uh, right now, this is just an example. But now that we have all design, we can start to, to do the animation and create that shining animation over the SVG as well. So first, let's start with the overall animation. We're just gonna do a simple opacity and scale animation. So here, I'm gonna select Merge 5, hit Shift Space on my keyboard and add a new Transform node. And then I'm gonna hit Shift Space again and search for a Brightness node. And that's the two things that we're gonna animate. So here, first off, with the Transform node, I'm gonna do an animation maybe from uh, frame zero to frame 20. So here, I'm gonna go frame 20, add something on size, then go down to zero and bring the size down to zero. And then same here with brightness and contrast, we're gonna add a keyframe from zero to 20. We're gonna select the alpha channel right here and I'm gonna go up to the frame 20, add a keyframe to the gain at one and then bring that down to zero and add a keyframe here at the gain zero. Now let's play it. Okay, perfect. Just the animation is linear and not smooth. We're gonna fix that by going here to the spline. We're gonna select transform. We're gonna select brightness. Then just click right here. So we have all all point in one spot. Select all the point, hit S on all keyboard. Then we can hit the letter T to bring the ease in and ease out. So right now we just smoothed out the curve and we're gonna bring the ease in uh, up to 85. 
Now let's play it. So we have our animation in. Obviously, feel free to replicate the same process for the animation out. And now we're going to create that glow effect on the ornament. To do that, I'm going to need to bring a new merge between the merge 2 and merge 3. So we're just going to select everything, give a bit of space right here to breathe. And I'm going to bring here, select my merge 2, and then I'm going to click on merge and I'm going to add a new merge. So once that's done, I'm going to bring here a background, link it to the green arrow. And then here on background four, I'm going to click on rectangle to bring a rectangular mask. We're going to make that rectangle thinner and we're going to make it longer. Now let's adjust the angle. We're going to do minus 30. So that shining gonna come at a certain angle and then we're gonna change here the soft edge and increase it a little bit so we have something that looks a bit more diffuse uh, that will be nicer. I already know that I don't want it to be black, I want it to be gray. So here we're gonna go to background and I'm gonna change the color here uh, to a gray tone. Perfect. Obviously right now that doesn't look good at all. We need to do one final step. It's that here we're gonna select everything so the background, the merge two, the transform one, and the group one. And then we're just gonna copy. So we can right click on it or just use our shortcut. Then we're just gonna copy it. And we're gonna right click on our working space and here click paste instance. Here we go. So now we've basically created a paste instance of everything that was selected. And now we can just taking the instance merge two and linking it to the merge of the rectangle. And that gives us that cool shining effect. We just need to keyframe it. To do that, we're just gonna keyframe the position of the rectangle. So for my timing, I wanna wait that the animation is done about frame 20, or maybe a bit before, like frame 15, for example. And at frame 15, I'm gonna put the shining away here. I'm gonna keyframe the position of the rectangle. So right now I'm just gonna put it away from the design. And we're gonna add a first keyframe right here on frame 15 and then we can move maybe to frame 50 and we're gonna adjust the position of the rectangle right here so it go across the screen so now let's play it perfect it looks good i might want to make it a bit longer so i'm gonna go here in my spline i'm gonna unselect the transform to unselect the brightness and contrast so we just have the rectangle one uh, left i'm gonna click here so we can see all point i'm gonna select this uh, keyframe point that is on frame 50 and i'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and then i'm just gonna drag that a couple of frame uh, around maybe 70 so it's gonna be a bit longer let's play it now Perfect. It's a bit longer. I prefer that. Uh, we have the time to see the shining a bit more. And that's pretty much it. That's how you will recreate this title in DaVinci Resolve. You can download a similar title uh, by clicking the link in the description below. That's a sample from our Film Festival Award Pack. For this tutorial, I explain you how to do it with keyframe, but for the pack, it has been done with anim curve. It's just easier for a beginner to wrap their head around keyframe than anim curve. So I decided to explain it to you like that for now, but let me know if you would like to see more tutorial around anim curves. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.